You can give yourself a 750k money loop with this mod menu. Today we're going to be checking out the Syslax mod menu for GTA 5. If you guys want to pick this menu up, the link is in the description down below. Anyway, let's get into it. Starting off with player options, you got God Mode, Never Wanted, Off the Radar, Anti-AFK. So say you want to go somewhere, you want to get something to eat and you don't want... Oh, for fuck. A little later. Great game. Why in the world is there an alien in my game? As I was saying, you got anti-AFK. Say you want to go downstairs, get something to eat. Then you can do that and you won't get kicked from the game. Then you've got infinite off the radar. So say you want to go invisible, troll some people. Then you can do that. Or, you know, you just don't want to be bugged. Stuff like that. Uh, then you got karma on your sight. I think this means say if someone aims at you, then they'll instantly die. Although I'm not too sure. Then you got Bull Shark Testosterone. You can give yourself health, max armor, max health, all that stuff. Or just kill yourself, you know. Pretty dark. Then you got your movement options. You got no ragdoll plus seatbelt. So say you want to get on top of a car or you don't want to like get flung through the windscreen of a car or like on a bike or something. You don't want to fall off. That's what that'll do. Every single lobby I join, there's always a modder, man. <laughs> right, then you got your run multiplier. Holy shit! I'm fast as fuck, boy! Swim multiplier, run and swim multiplier. So this is like boost run, I guess. Then you got your super jump. You can jump really high. Infinite jump, this is cool. What's this? Oh, oh jeez. I'm quite high right now. Then you got your superman, this is perfect. Hell yeah, let's save some people. What's rage mode? I guess I need to go back uh, down to the ground, don't I? You're pregnant again? Jesus. Ah, okay. So that's like, uh, I guess, part of the superhero thing, you know? So you want to do some role play or something. Can I please change this back? There we go. <laughs> okay. Walk on water. So, you know, I guess you want to be Jesus. Then you got your appearance. You can be invisible. Like I said before, go off the radar. Mess with some people, go invisible, stuff like that. Then you can breathe fire, you know? Be Ghost Rider or something. <laughs> you got Tiny Player. For some reason, like the hat. Look at the hat, bro. This this looks... This looks so strange. Then you got your outfits. You got Outfit Creator. Then you got Outfit Loader. Then you got Pre-Made Outfits. This is kind of like... It reminds me of the... <laughs> it reminds me... Reminds me of the PS3 menus where you could like do all of the pre-made stuff because I'm pretty sure all these outfits were in the PS3 menus as well. Then you got your model changer, you know, you can be like animals and stuff. Alright, we're in a new session now, hopefully he doesn't join my game again. But this is what GTA is like all the time now, guys. Pretty much everyone's a modder. Then you got your effects. Firework. Oh, this reminds me of something else. What are you doing? Contributing to society. <laughs> then you got your animations, you got beast jump. Then you got sex receiver. Oh, what the heck? Then you got scenarios. You can play the guitar. Then you can request all of this stuff, you know, snacks, bull shark, testosterone stuff. Then you got your playlist. So if we go on here, then you can spectate people. Where the hell is this guy? Okay, <laughs> let's just teleport to him. I guess he's in an interior, so it won't work. Yeah, he's in his apartment. Let's teleport to this guy instead. Oh, jeez. Add him as a friend, give him more weapons, upgrade his weapons, refill, copy his outfit, delete his attachments. Then you got vehicle stuff. Let's max upgrade his vehicle. There we go. You can give him vehicle god mode, repair, gentle vehicle kick. So, can we steal this car? First tires. Oh, there we go. We're stealing his car. My car now, buddy. See ya. See ya. Got fuck handling. What's this? I guess it won't work because uh, he's not in a car because I just stole it. But then you can delete his vehicle, destroy his vehicle. Then you got teleport options. You can teleport him to places. And you got your remote options. So kick from session, host kick, infinite loading screen, remote crash, CEO kick, CEO ban, send player off the radar, all that other stuff. Then you got your griefing options. You can just kill him. Freeze him in place, blame kill. Got cage and stuff, sound spam, fire loop, water loop, airstrike, attach stuff to him. Does this actually work since 
I'm pretty sure attachments didn't work anymore in GTA since they patched it like two years ago, didn't they? I have no idea. We'll have to test it actually. Ah, you see, it kind of works, but then it just disappears. Then you got all the player options, so you can do all the same stuff to everyone. Then you got your weapon options, give all weapons. Do we have the rail gun? I'm pretty sure you can get this legitimately now though, actually. Oh, he's modding as well, so that might be why it wasn't working before actually. So maybe the attachment stuff does work. Then you got upgrade all weapons, aimbot, you know, all this stuff here. Then you got your vehicle spawner, so let's get this car here. And you even have like the speedometer at the bottom. Then you got your vehicle options, vehicle god mode, keep engine on. You got seat belt, horn boost. Let's give this a try. Actually, I have an idea. I have a great idea. Holy shit. <laughs> Just imagine someone's in that car. That would be amazing. Then you got your seat belt, as I said before. You got your LS Customs, Tesla. So say you want to get driven somewhere, you got your paint and stuff, change all the paint. Instant brake, stick to ground, speedometer. Then you got fly mode, so if we get back into the car, then we'll be able to fly. Whee! <laughs> then you got vehicle no clip, you can make the car invisible. You got bypass speed limit, which is a good option. You got rainbow paint, you can add ramps to it, open all the doors, close all the doors, and then delete the vehicle. Then you got teleportation options, not gonna go over that since I don't want the video to be too long. Then you got all your bodyguard stuff, so you can have bodyguards, you got your filters and stuff. And then you got your uh, other vision modifiers, you can be high on cocaine. Hey yo, we're baked. <laughs> All right, uh, then you got the black hole. What's this do? Okay, we need to find some like tanks or something to see what it does. Oh geez. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. <laughs> then you can skip the cutscene. You got your GTA 2 camera. You can disable the phone. Finally, no one can call me now. Then you can become a. Then you can become an officer. Then you got train manager stuff like that. And now for the recovery options. For this I'm going to teleport away since I don't want to uh, deal with the, all these cops. So let's just teleport back to where we was. There we go. Oh geez, we're inside the casino. So if we go over to recovery options, money options. Now this is where the 750k stealth loop comes in. Free. Alright, let's enable this in 3, 2, 1. Hot. Dog. We'll be rich in no time, guys. Then you got your protection options. So say someone wants to corrupt your account or something, it will protect against that. And then you got all of this stuff here, and then you can just toggle it all on, which is a nice option, so you don't have to go through every option. Then you got your anti-freeze stuff, uh, anti-cage. Should have probably had those options on when I were getting caged and stuff before, but never mind. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this menu. Then you got your settings. You can save everything so it'll save the next time you load the menu. You can disable the FPS and stuff. And then you got your hotkeys and stuff, which is nice since it always since some menus they don't have hotkeys and it's so annoying when you have to go through every single option to do it. Uh, then you got all of this other stuff and then you can just kill the game. And that's about it for this menu guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe down below. If you want to pick this menu up, the link is in the description down below. And uh, yeah. Peace.